you crawled through this. Good morning, guys. It's Nick with Chestnut Hills Farmstead. We're out here on the farm. It's a beautiful sunny Saturday morning, but it is cold. For Alabama, it's cold. It's in the 20s, wind chills in the teens. Uh, we're just out here taking care of everybody, busting some ice on the water, getting everybody fed and getting some hay out. The temp's not gonna come up much today, so we wanna make sure to take care of the animals. I don't know how many times you can watch the chores being done. It's just feeding, same thing. Uh, we, we show it just to let everybody see the animals. But uh, Zoe and I did processed our meat birds yesterday. I think we did 44 with just the two of us. It took almost all day, especially with the wind the way it was. It was in the 30s, low 40s yesterday, but the wind was blowing 10 to 15 miles an hour all day. So it that slowed us down a good bit. And with just two of us, that, that pretty much took care of the day. So. When we get done here, we'll go home, package birds, get those ready to go, and get all the animals taken care of, and let Zoe do her thing. Good morning, y'all. It's time to do another kitchen cooking, baking. Um, it's been a little while. We've been really busy, and I haven't really had a chance to do any real baking. I've just been cooking dinner every night because Everybody's been in the house. It's been so cold. If we're not here, we're working on something at the farm, trying to knock it out. But for my birthday, I thought that I would show you guys how to make one of my most requested cookies that I do for all kind of events. These are Danish wedding cookies. They are very similar to the kind that you get in the pink box at your local big box store um, made by little elves and in my opinion these are probably even better so uh, as you know Danish wedding cookies also have other names they're known as snowballs um, they are known as Mexican wedding cookies they are known as sand tarts. They also have a a name. I think it's Danish pecan tarts. I'm not sure about that one, but I read that somewhere. So it's real simple to make. What you're going to do is I'm going to run through our ingredients list and our steps, and then we're going to go to the mixer, mix it all up. We'll roll up our balls, put them in the oven. I'll show you every step of the way. So let's do it. You're going to need a half a cup of unsalted butter that is room temperature. You do not want it melted. You do not want it cold. So room temperature, mine has sat out in the window seal and is very pliable. You'll need a fourth cup of confectioner sugar, which I call powdered sugar. You'll need a fourth of it for the recipe but once the cookies come out of the oven we are going to roll each one in powdered sugar to get that snowball appearance afterwards we'll do a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon an eighth teaspoon of salt half a cup of pecans that are very fine Sometimes I use a little more than half a cup just because we like ours with a little more nuts. But it's the inside is definitely not chunky because they are ground up pretty fine. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And one, one cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So we're gonna get all this mixed up in the mixer and then we are gonna roll all our balls out, put them in the oven. They'll bake for 15 to 20 minutes. These do not brown. So you have to trust the timing at 325 for 15 to 20 minutes. As soon as they come out, we're gonna let them sit for just 
about two or three minutes. So while they're still warm, we'll roll them real gently in a bowl of powdered sugar. And then we'll let them dry a little bit. And then we'll do one last final toss in powdered sugar for the final product. So let's go. I've already put the butter in because, you know, I had to scrape it all down because it is very soft and pliable. And what we're going to do is we are going to add in a fourth cup of confectioner sugar, powdered sugar. And we are going to cream this together until it is soft and fluffy. Alright, let's scrape it down one time. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and we're gonna mix in our cinnamon. Salt. Pecans. And flour. vanilla well you're gonna cream this all together until it forms a wet dough Okay, let's scrape it down. Let's go a little bit more. They go on an ungreased cookie sheet. And you want them to be bite size. These are not two bite cookies. As you guys know, I just turned another year older. I'm 35 now. And we are going to get something this evening. I kind of know what it is. It's supposed to be my birthday present. I'm pretty sure it's for everybody in the house. But you guys will just have to wait and see. Because I will... Do a short video when we get home with my new present and let you guys see exactly what it was and we'll put that on this video. Another way that you can mix up this dough as well, you can use a different kind of nut if you wanted to. We do a lot of pecans around here. You could definitely do walnuts. I'm sure almonds would be good. I bet pistachios would be really good too. I love pistachios. You could add some mini chocolate chips. 
So when you put your pecans in the mixer or the uh, food processor to chop them up smaller, you could add in some chocolate chips or mini chocolate chips and just ground those up with it. My husband just likes good old traditional Danish wedding cookies. Nothing frills about it. Just fix them and have them ready. But I like to mix things up sometimes. Okay, you guys, here's one batch. We're going to put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I will show you guys how we finish these off. We'll be back. So, you guys, as you can see, all of our cookies are done. They are still, you know, kind of blonde. But they have rested for a couple of minutes. I baked these for 18 minutes at 325 degrees. And as you can see, they're little balls. They're not stuck in any way. They're just little sandies. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take them one at a time. We're just going to roll them around in the powdered sugar. The reason we're doing it while they're hot is because the heat from the cookie is going to allow that powdered sugar to slightly melt and adhere to the cookie. Okay, you guys, this is after step one. These cookies are still very warm. We're going to let them cool, and then we will toss them one more time in powdered okay, sugar. So these have cooled down now. So we are going to do a final coat. Okay, you guys, here's our finished product. Here's our little plate of Danish wedding cookies. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed following along and that you really give these a try. These are the perfect snack size bites. They are just a sandy, not really sweet cookie. So I really look forward to seeing if you guys actually try these. This is, like I told you earlier, this is the the number one thing that people ask me to make. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed cooking in the kitchen with you guys. You're like family to us, especially you who comment and leave us messages. Those are what keeps us doing this because it can be daunting sometimes, but we are enjoying it. So thank you guys. We will see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Okay, look. We got a doggy. What kind of doggy did you get? A uh, white one. A oh, white one. Yeah. yeah. Look. Come here. Ooh, let's show everybody what we got. We got a puppy. A puppy. We got an Australian Shepherd Red Merle boy. Yeah, Red Merle boy. What's his name? That's right.
fucking sick.